Hi guys, welcome to Full Play. Today we're going to talk about what our favourite games of the last year have been. Luke, what's your favourite game of the year been? I'm going with Monster Hunter, Monster Hunter World on the PlayStation 4. Boom! Boom. <laughs> yeah, Controversial. Um, it's brilliant. Um, I haven't played a game like it that's sort of got me, um, well, got me to put as many hours into it as this. Like, I mean, I'm up to like nearly 100 and 150 hours, so yeah, loving it. It's great fun. Um, you know, it, I mean, it's a little bit different for me because I, I spend a lot of time playing with my lady as well because she loved it as well. So, yeah, it's um, it's one of those games you can sit down and play, you know, hunt a monster and then you can leave. You know, it's just perfect for sort of my lifestyle. Um, yeah, and obviously we've been playing it for the channel as well, which is really nice and a and a pleasure playing with you gents, obviously. Um, yes, yeah, so that's me, mate. That's it. That's all I got. Dan? What about you, Dan? Uh, well, my game of the year is probably uh, going to be Red Dead. Ooh. The I've played so much of the single player. Yeah, it's just an incredible game. There's so many little details to it. Obviously, the online's launched this week in a beta, and it's a bit uh, stingy with the <laughs> prices, shall we say? Um, and it's rife with people just wandering around murking you at any point. But um, that's online life for you it's the wild west mate yeah um, but no I, I, it's been a great game I mean the single player is just you know a fantastic experience and exactly what you'd expect from Rockstar you know um, I really enjoy the story of it yeah like, it's just been fantastic yeah what about you Diggs I'm going to go with I know this will shock everyone at the table but I'm going to go with Spider-Man 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 it's me Spider-Man I loved it I was, uh, I've been looking forward to it I mean they took ages to bring it out um, but I was looking forward to it ever since they announced it um, and it did not disappoint the uh, obviously there's no sort of online or co-op or anything to it which is normally what attracts me to games but the single player was so much fun just e even just swinging around the city of New York um, looked awesome um, the gameplay was quality it's like seamless and exciting and there's two DLCs out already both of which uh, are really good fun um, and yeah, really enjoyed it. I was loving it. What about you, Ed? Um, I, I probably would say Red Dead, but um, I, I'm going to wait until the online. So I, I'm choosing UFC. I, I've loved that. Um, I played a bit of the season, not not very much, or like campaign mode. Um, but I've just been smashing the ultimate team online. I just love it. Um, just yeah, just jump on occasion. They have a few fights. Uh, you know, if I don't have time to play Red Dead or a story game. You can just jump online, ultimate team, uh, unlock a few cards, have a few fights. Um, you know, it, people can buy cards with their money, uh, you know, like real money, uh, buy the sort of in-game money, but um, it's quite quite rewarding. I've not spent any money on it. I just, you know, I just earn money from, from smashing people to paste, as, <laughs> as I say. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's just such a laugh. Some of the knockouts you get, I'm, I'm always sort of saving things and recording them and having to delete footage on my PlayStation because I've got loads. It's just such a laugh. So, uh, yeah, EA UFC 3. Can't wait to play the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, like I say, just a brief video talking about our games of the year, being as it is that season. Um, stick in the comments what your favourite games are and, uh, and why. We'd, we'd all be really interested to know.